here's another equation that we need to solve for x, but it's got some other variables in it. There's a v and there's a b. So what do we do here? Well, the way I like to start is to look at what's being done to x. It's being multiplied by 1 3rd and it's being multiplied by b. Let's try to take care of those one at a time. Multiplying something by 1 3rd is the same as dividing it by 3. So if we multiplied this side by 3, then it would basically disappear, which is great because then there's only one thing being done to x. But if I multiply by 3 over here, I've got to multiply by 3 over here. So we have 3v now equals b times x. Now the only thing being done to x is it's being multiplied by b. So we're going to divide by b. You know, if this set had a number over here, 8, you would just divide by 8. With the b, it's the same thing. So we'll do that to both sides of the equation. The b's cancel over here, and you get x equals 3v over b. And that's really all there is to that.